Hey everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the 28th Flutter tutorial. Um, today, we are going to switch gears a little bit here, and we're going to go down to, where is it, the text field. We've worked with this before, but we haven't really talked about it in depth. So what we're going to do in the next few tutorials is talk about individual widgets. We're going to talk about text field, then probably checkbox and radio box. Actually, it's just called radio. Um, in other frameworks, it's called radio button or radio box, depending on, but in Flutter, it's just called radio. Anyways, so today, text field. Let's just go ahead and we got a little demo project. Let's get that out of there. Let's open a new emulator. Let that bad boy load up while we're typing. All right, so let's import our material package. And I'm probably going to deviate from my example code that I have on the other side of the screen here just because I don't really like it. Uh, sometimes that gets me into some trouble, but uh, we'll just see what happens here. Um, still, gosh, this cold, man. I'm <laughs> still, still got this cold. Uh, trying to fight through it. Uh, might be successful, might not. So if my voice cracks a little bit, I haven't actually done tutorials in a while because my voice has been really bad. Uh, just forgive me. All right, so we're going to extend the stateful widget. And then whoopsie. Ext All right, so we're going to extend the state of the my app. Had a lot of good feedback about Flutter. Um, even for alpha, people seem to genuinely love this. Um, I actually really like Flutter. It's it's kind of hard to describe unless you've really worked with it for a little bit. Um, it's got a lot of things that other frameworks are really, really lacking, even though it's just an alpha. And I think there's going to be a lot of really good promising things coming out of this. Create start, geez, create state. All right, so we've got kind of our boilerplate here. Let's just finish this up real quick. I may start the tutorials with what we have now that we don't spend two minutes watching me type this over and over and over again. Um, just let me know in the comments how you guys feel about that because I know that sometimes I try to just have pre-written code and everybody's like, no, don't do that. We like watching you type. I think you guys just like seeing my horrible spelling mistakes here. All right, so return new. We're going to turn new scaffold. And bang, we can actually start our program now. So as always, we've got our kind of uh, generic pattern here where we do run app. We're creating a new material app. The material app's home is a my app. My app is a stateful widget. The state of that is the my app state, which of course extends the state of the my app. Seems a little cyclical and a little confusing, but I think we're getting there. All right, so first thing we need to do is, well, actually, let's work with our state here. So... Hmm. Let's say, what do we want to do? Yeah, why not? All right, so now that we've got our scaffold up, I'm going to say app bar, new app bar, title, new text. And with the body here, we are going to say new container. Let's get a little bit of padding there just so we know what's going on here. Oops. Hmm. Let's say new, let's say new center. And then we have our list of widgets that we're going to flush out here. So the first widget we're going to add here is a new text field. And a, whoopsie, new raised button. All 
That way we know that this is a text field demo, not a text demo. There we go. All right, so we played around with text field before, and if we actually just run this so we can see what this looks like here. Let me pull my emulator over. Um, text field is actually pretty interesting little control. There's a lot of functionality packed into this bad boy, and you wouldn't really know, to, know it unless you started diving into the documentation and playing around with it. So we're just going to make a completely obscure example that you will probably never use, but it shows off some of the functionality of this. All right, let's build this up, throw this out here. So here's our text field that we can type into, and here's our raise button that we're going to be able to click. Let's finish that button up here. Ah, I have failed you. Do it. Do as I command. Anyways, new text. There we go. Now, what we want to do here is we want to actually do the on press, which we've done tons and tons and tons of times here. So let's just make a void on pressed. Now you can do this much more compact. I just do it that way. It's, you know, there's no, uh, no issues understanding what exactly is going on here. So it will call this and we can even say print button test or button pressed. We've done that before. Now, what we want to do is actually grab the text out of this text field. And we've seen this before where we can't actually say text field dot text. The text field itself does not store a state. It's a stateless widget. So what we have to do is grab those changes as they occur. So we're going to actually say And then here, let's bang this down here and then separate that down. That way it's just a little more easier to understand. And we need to say string value. And then there's our value. We of course need our semicolon at the end here. push this back out to the device and now as we type you can see we are grabbing the text that is in the text field and if we click we have our button pressed so what we need to do now is you guessed it set state I don't like it that there let's bump that up there we go value that way we actually have the value here and then we can say hot reloading should take care of that and bang the text is blank yeah because we haven't actually stored it in the state let's try this yeah there we go so the text is whatever we just typed so we've seen that before in similar older tutorials that we've done. Um, now what we want to do is show off some of the features of this thing. We understand now that the text field is stateless and that's why we have to grab this on changed. But what are some other things that we can really do with this? Well, we're going to play around with it a little bit. We're going to say max lines equal three. So we're going to have three max lines in here. And we want autocorrect turned on. That's right, autocorrect. Yeah, buddy. And let's just play around with that and see what that does. So let's grab this. Notice how we have three lines in here. One, and we have autocorrect. So if I just type, and we can say catch, comma, and we can go down a line, maybe. Can't figure out how to go down a line on the emulator here. 
Oh, well, I kind of did it. You get the point, though. We have multiple lines now that we can really play around with. And the text is whatever blah 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 catch. So you can have multi lines, you can have auto correction, um, you can have all sorts of stuff. Um, you can even have this little, this is an emulator so it won't work, but I can click that and it'll actually dictate out whatever I'm saying. It'll type it out for us. Pretty, pretty awesome. Um, so obscure text, true. Um, I think we've done this in a previous tutorial. This is for passwords. Notice how it's a bunch of dots, and as we type, you only see the letter for a second, and then bang. So we could actually say something like, uh, my top secret, I can't even spell, my top secret password, bang. So let's comment that out for the time being. Let's say we want a, uh, a decoration. We're going to do a new input decoration. And we're going to say icons. Dot, why not? Just icons.print. Hit text. And we will say type something here. And hmm, we want label text to say what is your name uh oh something blew up hmm I guess that worked so now you can see that uh, we have a label text what is your name let me kinda reload this because it kinda shrinks when we do that it says what is your name and then when you click on it, it zooms it up there. We have an icon and it says type something here. And we have multiple lines of text. That's actually really cool. Um, one thing you should be aware of is this whole pattern of tracking the state and all that. It can seem a little cumbersome at times. Um, so one little trick that you can do is you can say final text editing controller. And we can get the controller here. And we can comment out this. Actually, we can even leave it if we want to and just say controller and give it the actual controller. Then what happens is, and we will say, we want on press two. And I'm going to comment this. Just kind of playing around here. And we're going to just print out the controller.txt. Let's reload this whole thing. So now when we click the button, we're calling on press 2 which instead of grabbing the text variable is actually grabbing this controller variable. So we can say blah, 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 click. And you can see we get the text. And we didn't have to mess around with set state or any of that because we've got it all in this text editing controller. Actually pretty neat. So that in a nutshell is the text field. There's a little bit more to it, but I don't want to get too in depth. These are still beginner tutorials. But as you can see, this thing packs a lot of functionality into it, probably more than most other uh, frameworks out there and I was really just kind of blown away when I started playing with this so um, let's end this with I hope you like flutter so that's it for this tutorial if you're looking for the source code for this maybe maybe there we go go to my website voidrooms.com uh, click on tutorials it'll take you right out to github and I have links to all of the tutorials I do different series but you can click on the flutter tutorials and then I've got all of them. You can clone the entire repo down to your hard drive and have the source for everything. Um, on top of that, you can join the Voidrooms Facebook group. 
there is almost 1,800 other programmers out there, all walks of life, all different languages, and we can definitely help if you have any questions. That's it. Thank you for watching.